Spider Sandwiches by Claire Freeman and Sue Hendra. Do come to tea with Max. He has a monster appetite. He eats such yucky mucky food. His meal times are a fright. He loves to glug slug milkshake through a stinky hosepipe straw. And as for beetle biscuits, he always munches one more. For breakfast every morning, he chews toenail scrambled eggs, then guzzles down a smoothie made from squidge grasshopper legs. He buys snacks on the internet from as far away as space. Spiky space ants, moon goo globs are all stuff in his face. By lunchtime, Max is starving. Scrummy nice rice. I can't wait. He slurps it super fast before the lights crawl off his plate. He bought the monstrous cookbook from some recipe ideas. Then best with slimy old noodles served with hairy fried bat's ears. To pickled worms and squash fly jam, Max beams, hooray, yes please. He spreads them on his crackers. Ooh, with smelly fish-eyed cheese. So delicious gurgles Max with a massive goo-filled grin. Cold, crunchy cockroach curry drip dribbling down his chin. Tadpole ice cream, snail trail sauce, things that squirm and slurp, they all mix in his tummy. Look out, here comes that burp. burp. Rat's tail pizza, Blue mold chips, bug burgers are a treat, but when it comes to tea time, there's just one thing he will eat. Oh, squiggly spider sandwiches. He shoves them in so fast. He eats their heads and sticky webs, but saves their legs to last. Max will eat up anything that oozes gunk and gloop, but even monsters gasp, no thanks when faced with... <gasps> Green sprout soup. The end.